If you're in a situation where your AI is giving you a wrong answer, it may not be because it is flawed, but more because it felt rushed. So today we're going to talk about how to use chain of thought. My name is Brent Hanser. Welcome to my prompting series. I hope this is helpful. Today we're going to cover chain of thoughts. First, we'll start with what it is, and then we're going to talk about how to apply it. The AI is so fast, it tries to solve problems in one jump. And in doing so, it could miss a step in the technique to fix this is called chain of thought. It doesn't require complex ex examples, just one simple phrase. This phrase forces the LLM to stop guessing the answer and instead build a sequence of smaller, sequential, verifiable steps. It's the manager telling the intern, show your work. So why does this work so well? Algorithmically, forcing these steps give the model multiple opportunities to self-correct. If it had a mistake in step two, it would see the error before calculating step three and fix the logic. It externalizes the thought process, which is key to accuracy and debug. Let's prove it with that exact software task problem. So I'm gonna put a, a question in here. So I'll put my prompt in here and I got a very intriguing answer. So I said, if a software team started with 18 tasks, completed five, then doubled the remainder, how many tasks does this team now have? Interesting thing was it actually did the, it actually showed me the chain of thought, uh, which was unexpected. Um, so. The, you know, the answer is 26, but the important part is that it did go through and told me, you know, it showed its work. It did what it was supposed to do. This did not happen before. So it may not happen all the time. So just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how, in case you just get an answer, because usually the problem is, instead, when you ask it a question, it'll just say, you know, the team now has 26 tasks, which is right. But I wanna know how it got there. I wanna know what it did to get there so I can trust it. And so that's where the chain of thought comes in. So let's pretend it didn't do that because it may not always short time. And I'm going to say, show your work and just see if it gives us a different answer and you know, see, see what it does. Cause it already did show us our work before, but I'm just curious. So now it's thinking, right? It's taking its time. It did that before it just generated it, but now it's putting it out here. It's actually going a little bit deeper to let us know how it got there. We still got the right answer 26. It did go a little bit deeper to see how we got there. So I'm able to trust this information because I can look at it and I can quickly verify that answer. So now that I can trust this process, this is an example of how you can debug. Chain of thought is really your debugging superpower. It may cost a few extra tokens and we'll get into what that is if you're on a free version, doesn't matter how many. But, but the jump in re reliability for complex tasks, priceless. So you can use this for anything involving logic a uh, math or multi-step analysis. So next time, really excited about this, we're actually gonna conquer the final hurdle in foundational control, which is making a structured output, forcing the AI to deliver JSON in tables. I love JSON prompting. I'm excited to get into it. If this was helpful to you, be sure to comment below, like, follow, subscribe, all those things, and we'll see you next time.